Guys, welcome to paradise. Guys, we just made it at the Sands at Chalet Island in Diani, Kenya. And it's, I'll, I'll keep it for myself, we'll, we'll show you guys. And the thing that I love about living in Kenya is that two and a half hours ago, we were in Nairobi. It was rainy, it was coldish, not very nice, in a big city, chaotic, and look at us now. <laughs> Like, to be honest, I'm a little speechless right now because to stay where we're staying, which you will see in like two seconds, <laughs> I like this has been a dream of mine and I didn't know you could do it here in Kenya. Yeah. And um, we came across it by fluke and I was like, no, like this is it. Like we have to go here. Like we, we just have to. There's you, no way. <laughs> you guys will see in a few minutes, but we're basically in the Maldives. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You want, you want to show them around? Yes, I have to show you so you can understand why I'm speechless. <laughs> okay, let's let's go on the other side and start at the actual entrance because okay, this, this is go. like our backyard. <laughs> Welcome to our overwater villa. Come see this. So when you come in, it goes two ways, but we're gonna start this way first. So on this side, we have just kind of like a living area. I love these. When we stayed actually in Diani, the Airbnb that we had had those outside and they're so comfy. And our um, personal favorite, we get a full 18 liter <laughs> dispenser of cold and hot water. That's a plus. Because <laughs> we drink a lot of water, especially me and especially when it's warm just like in Diani. So this thing, I'm much more happier than you think about it. <laughs> so something else to note, which I didn't know because online said there wasn't, in the overwater villas, you actually have a fridge too, which will come in handy. And then, if we go through here, we have some closets on this side with a safe. Hiding our stuff just because. <laughs> come up here to the bathroom. So you have a separate room for your toilet. You have a shower right here. Your two sinks. I'm not going to show you in front of me right now, but you will see. Okay, come back here. And then when you come through, so this would have been if you turned the other way instead of at the beginning, is our bedroom. So one little things I start to notice, the mosquito net looks brand new, I'm not gonna lie. It's perfect. You have a big king size bed, you have a desk, probably won't use it. But this guys, this is the best part. Come see. Now this is the best part. So we have here where you can sit or you can come down here and sit or you can come down here and sit. <laughs> Again, those beds outside, my favorite. But this, we have our own water access. I just, I don't think we're gonna leave this place. <laughs> I think I agree, I, we could move here. Are we moving here? We're, st we're gonna start with two nights, but we might stay here forever. Who knows? So we're gonna go see what's for lunch. And then after that, it's gonna be bathing suit, sun tanning, swimming in the ocean and a lot Enjoying of good stuff. Life. I would like. <laughs> so the overwater villa that we have is actually on the other side of the rest of the resort, meaning we have like extra pri privacy, but yeah. we're gonna walk a lot, yeah, which is but good. That's good because we need to get our steps in. Like we do yeah. good for like three, four days in a row and then we go back to our old yeah. habits. <laughs> 10,000 steps, here I come. <laughs> So lunch was great, very good people. 
pizzas. I finally had a really good chocolate cake. Yeah, here. the her chocolate cake was actually delicious. Yeah. I had a fruit salad because you guys know me. I'm, I'm the healthier one. Um, one thing to remember, to be honest, if you ever come here, pay for the full board. Yeah. It is so worth it. The food was delicious, big portion, but very expensive if you don't have full board. So yeah, keep full that in board mind. For sure. So we are back to our overwater villa, finally wearing some, you know, beach style clothes. Yes. Uh, AKA, you know, swimsuits. I, I keep thinking like we have, we should have come back here sooner to the coast. Oh yeah. Being it's here wonderful. made me realize how much I missed it. Yeah. So to be honest, the coast in Kenya, best beaches in the world. Absolutely. So yeah. Let's go in the Indian ocean. Let's go. Let's go check it out. Let's go. I am made to be free So the Indian Ocean is pretty nice. It's a perfect temperature and for once, like it's actually refreshing. Every time we go to the coast and go either in a pool in the ocean, it's just too warm and it's, it's not true. refreshing. I don't know if it's just like the change of tide that's happening right now, but like it's, it's nice. Yeah, the tide is slowly going down, but we had a good yeah. swim. Yeah, we did. And I just had like an epiphany. I just said that really wrong, epiphany. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> The way the sun is, it's literally gonna set right in front yeah. of us over the water. Like how perfect is this, guys? When I asked Tracy what we should do now, she's like, well, you should go get a bottle of wine. Anyone shocked? No, no you can put it in our fridge for sundown or time. <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna be a good spot right there when we can, yes. uh, where we can actually sit. I think it's gonna be nice. I like this place. I'm still, I'm still up to uh, move into this place forever. Um, yes, please. I have no issue with that. We'll at talk all. we'll talk to the owner. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> So that was a very nice and relaxing afternoon. A little bit of swimming, a little bit of working, a lot of reading for Tracy. A lot of relaxing. Yeah, it was nice. And the temperature is lovely right now. So the water is completely gone. Like I'm not sure where the ocean goes at night, but it, it, it it's, it's going to bed. <laughs> so, back. yeah. So now we're gonna go for tea, see what's up with that, and probably mm -hmm. get a nice bottle of white wine and bring that back to our over the water villa for sundowner. I am, I don't we know, a, I'm so pumped for sundowner. Yeah, because we have a very nice spot for it, so. Yeah. Let's go see. Let's go. So we just uh, we just had a quick look at uh, tea time, but we didn't take anything because to be honest, we're not very hungry because we ate way too much for lunch and we have supper later on, yeah. but we got the wine! We got the wine! We got the wine! We got the wine! So when the tide is out, they actually use a tractor to get to the mainland Diani. Time for a little shower before a sundowner and the shower. We even have side jet. Sun's going down, it's sundowner time. It was a lovely sundowner, very relaxing. The view yeah, from here, guys, is like, it's a 10 out of 10, like for sure. Um, but now we're not that hungry, but we're still gonna go for supper because if I don't eat now- You'll be hungry later. Guaranteed. I'm gonna be hangry later. You'll regret it. Yeah, so we're gonna go see what's for supper. <laughs> Everything at the buffet was pretty good, but I saw that they have a, a pasta station. I kind of have to try it out. So I'm gonna go do that while Tracy probably is gonna get dessert.
What did you get, Tracy? A lot of dessert? And some fruit. And it's all to share. <laughs> Tracy already picked a bite from my plate, but apparently the pasta are very good. Are they? Mm. Mm. They also have a catch of the day fish that they actually just cook fresh from there. Still a full fish there. Oh, it's pretty good too. So we just came back from supper. It was actually pretty good. We actually missed a full like full-on selection of all the Kenyan food we realized <laughs> after. It was in like different um different section kind of yeah. thing, like in big pots. Anyway, so I missed chapatis, which I'm very, very sad about. I'm sure you'll eat But the rest of the food was super good. Pasta station, delicious. They had some fresh fish, amazing. Yeah, like he literally was like gutting it and chopping it yeah. right there and then onto the grill. Can't get fresher than that. No. So now we're gonna enjoy this glass of wine. Cheers. And go to bed and start again tomorrow. We're gonna try to do something tomorrow Maybe some snorkeling or something? Mixed reviews. I want to, but I don't want to because I feel so like chill and relaxed here. It's it's very, it, it's unique. It's for sure. I feel sure. like we're just in our own little bubble and it we're just makes so, me so happy. What I love is that we're so far from the rest of like the resort that yeah. it, this is completely private here. Like, like I just wish we could have our meals here and then like... Maybe we, we would, can. We'd never have to go to the yeah. main spot. But it's a buffet so it's fine. Yeah, but lunch is Oh well. Anyway, so good supper. Yeah. Cheers again. And see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Slept pretty good. A mm -hmm. little warm. <laughs> we have like a big fan on top of the bed, but it doesn't go through. So, <laughs> because the mosquito net. So, eh. yeah. It was good overall. Yeah, so good. right now we're gonna go for breakfast because we gotta wait for uh, for the water to come back because th there's no water right now and yeah we're gonna try to find something to do today because you guys know me if I don't do something and just lay down I'm, I'm gonna go crazy Tracy would love that but I'm gonna go crazy so there's some activities some things to do free and things that you can pay for so we'll see what we want to do what and do we should also go check out the because we haven't even seen Oh yeah, we didn't really yet. show you yeah. like we'll do a little quick uh, walk around to maybe j right after breakfast just to see yeah. what's uh what's around. But like I haven't even seen them. I've seen one pool. It's just it. <laughs> yeah, or like our, our cottage is like so nice. Oh, I know. <laughs> we don't no need to need go need anywhere. For us to go there, yeah. but I just feel like we should at least see the rest. <laughs> okay, of so uh, let's go breakfast, tour, and see what, what are we doing today <laughs> while we're waiting for the water to come back? sour it, it makes my eyes water but it's so good that I don't want to stop eating it so. <laughs> so we just finished breakfast breakfast was pretty good you know omelets waffles uh, sausage really lots of fruits croissant. yeah delicious mangoes um, so we're gonna just do a quick walk around of the resort because we didn't really show you guys right now we're completely on the opposite side of the island compared to where we actually stay in our little overwater villa so they have a very nice beach in the morning it looks like you know there's a lot of like algae and stuff but there's actually uh, people here that are like raking it up, raking it up. so yeah. that's really good because we've been to other resort where they just leave it so you know at the end of the day the, the beach is literally like brown so you know so that's pretty cool otherwise behind me those are like the the normal rooms that you can stay and they're actually very affordable so you know if you because where we're staying right now it's kind of expensive so those ones great option if you can see there that's a separate island where they actually have their uh, honeymoon suite and it's called the Rock Cottage or something like that. That is their most, most premi premium suite. It's like a massive loft. It's really, really big. We'll try to get a better view of it. So you can see it a little bit better here, how like that's fully detached. And then there's like a little bridge that you walk across to get to it. So 
Well, this place here actually has a full-on diving school when you can get certified. Mm -hmm. um, and we're definitely going to do that. Not now because we don't have enough time. But the next time we come to the coast, I really want to come for like five days or something yeah. and do a full certification. It's something I always wanted to do. So it's on the list. Now we're going to show you the pool. So this is the pool and there is a jacuzzi up there as well. Look at that, we're back in our uh, little shack and the water is back. How cool is that? Because I cannot stay for a full day in this magnificent overwater cottage because I'm just like hyperactive, then Can't we're relax. gonna go uh, do some kayaking and I think we're gonna be fine. At first we thought it was at 11, but I'm pretty sure it's 11.30 because now it's like 11.10 or something. Stay tuned. We should go on kayak soon. So now we're gonna switch to the GoPro. Tracy, show me your best kayak move. What is a kayak move? That, yeah, that's pretty good. Remember that when you're in the kayak <laughs> so I don't do all yeah. the work. <laughs> hey, back to our shack. We kayaked all the way to our shack. It's not a shack. But I can't kayak on spin time. <laughs> that's fine, I'll do all the work. I'm just gonna sit here and film. Pro tip. <laughs> If you have, if you want to film, this is your time. <laughs> the wind picked up and we got lost in the ocean. We don't know where we're at. It's been five days and we have no water. And I've been eating little crabs from the ocean. <laughs> Now we're just right there. But the wind is really strong and there's a lot of wave. Slowly trying to get back and hopefully we're gonna make it. We made it. <laughs> You're just trying to hide this. Save me! <laughs> Thank you. Just came back from her kayaking adventure. Mm -hmm. It was quite fun, quite a workout because there's a lot of wind and a lot of waves. There's a lot of like current here that you don't really see. Yeah, and then after that, we actually uh, went for lunch and we saw some people that actually, uh, I was quite surprised to see back. Those two girls in the kayak, they were far, like real far and they were struggling a little. Anyway, yeah. everyone made it back safe, so that was pretty good. It was, it was fun, it was it something was fun. to do, right? Yeah. Um, lunch was good, once again, didn't show you because it's, I don't want to be repetitive. Then after that, we actually went to a little walk uh, on a part of the compound that we didn't see uh, mm -hmm. before just a few minutes ago. They have two pools, like one on the three other pools. side of the island. Yeah. There's yeah. actually three pools, another one that we didn't show you guys, but this one actually has like a bar in the middle. So that's pretty cool. And a super nice view of the ocean. Yes. Lots of wave there though. You can't swim there. No. no. So now we're going to relax yes. a little bit. For about an and hour. then after that, we're going to do something else cool. Something that I did like seven years ago, only once. And that I've Tracy never, never did. That's gonna decide what we do in the near future too. So <laughs> fair, stay fair. posted. So while Tracy's reading her book, and I can't sit still, I'm gonna go snorkeling. It's cold a little. There's really not much to see right now. Can't see much because like there's too much current and like the sand is everywhere. That was a very unsuccessful uh, snorkeling experience. Didn't see nothing. Just because there, there's like no visib visibility in the water right now. So, oh well. But now like some fishes are back. I'm going to try to show you. 
Can you guys see those like three or four long kind of transparent slash blue-ish fish? Because we're not sure what they are. So if you guys know, let us know in the comment uh, down below. Because uh, me and Tracy are kind of wondering, they're all around our little uh, water villa here. So just a question we have. Tracy, do you have any other questions for our people? No, just chilling? No, just relax. <laughs> so the second activity of the day, what is it? Mm, free diving in the pool. Yeah, so we're going to be able to like try the equipment and yeah. try to breed underwater. So before, you know, like in this video, we actually told you that we were interested in like doing a certification for diving. But Tracy actually never tried to no. the equipment and like breed underwater and stuff. And there's actually like people that just can't do it. Like they just freak out too much. So before we pay money to like do the certification, uh, probably here in Kenya at some point uh, on the coast, well, Tracy is going to try it out. So we're going to see how it goes. Do you think you're going to freak out? I really don't know. I won't be shocked if I definitely freak out in the beginning. It's a question of if I can adjust. Yeah, I think you're gonna freak out a little, but yeah. I think you're gonna be able to like work through it. I think so. Okay, let's go try. So this is the pool where it's gonna happen. Now we're just waiting for the instructor and the equipment. I think he's coming. I've actually thought I was gonna freak out more to be honest. So that's not bad. Good job. <laughs> so first experience diving. I liked it. Me too. Um I did not freak out nearly as much as I thought I was going mm -hmm. to. And the like the things that made me freak out were not breathing yeah through the tank so it's good for me it's mainly the flippers yeah seriously mainly for me like now i know what points i need to work on if we mm -hmm. actually want to dive yeah. sometime she did really good so i think we're probably gonna do that certification at some point soon yeah. hopefully because i really really i enjoy water in general and i love snorkeling so i feel like diving is just one step better yeah absolutely and like it's Especially when you're diving to see like a reef or something like yeah, that. It's not sure. just like diving for the sake of diving. Yeah. So coming up soon, diving certification. For now, we are having a little sundowner, just Tracy and I, mm -hmm. in our, on our little balcony, watching the sun goes down and the water go out yeah. while enjoying oh, 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 uh, now some local beers. And th this, is the, this is the hard question here. We uh, are opposites. I prefer white cap. He prefers Tusker. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment uh, section down below. Are mm -hmm. you a Tusker person? Are you a white cap person? This we just it. realized we haven't had like beers in a really long time just because we normally go towards wine. Yeah. And we them, I love a good we beer. love them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, cheers to paradise in Kenya. <laughs> I know we've said this a lot, but I really don't want to leave this place. Two nights is too short. I think we need at least three nights. Guys, it's gonna be real hard to leave tomorrow. It is. It is so nice right now. We're just, just before supper, watching the sun going down. It's very, very nice. And the temperature is like lovely at this time of the year. It's like not too hot. Cause normally sometimes you go at the coast in Kenya and it's like, you know, 38 degrees. Insane. But not only that, like I have to say, I'm, I wonder if it's a difference with the seasons. Mm -hmm. But like, we did not burn. We put sunscreen on like once or twice a yeah. day. 
Whereas before, last time we were at the coast, we put on yep. almost every hour. Yep. But I mean, look at that. It's literally perfect. It is. Also, I'm fascinated by the tide. Like, we wake up in the morning, there is no water at all. In the middle of the afternoon, we literally have water like to here, and it's beautiful. And right now, again, no water. There's literally people like right there crossing from the island back to Diani. It's crazy. And just like that, the water is gone, the sun is gone. That means it's time for? Supper. Supper. <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm sad because uh, I love sunsets. Yeah. And this place is a perfect sunset. <laughs> it's going to be real sad to leave. <laughs> anyway, okay. so we're going to go for supper and we're going to catch you guys back up tomorrow for the final review because you, you guys saw what supper is like. Let's not it's make summer. this repetitive. <laughs> Plus, Tracy likes when I don't have the camera on my hand all the time. Oh, it's just a little <laughs> more extra I get from She me. doesn't want to share me with you guys. <laughs> we share a lot. <laughs> See you guys in the morning. And just like that, we're getting ready to leave. Watching the water come in one last time. <laughs> and I wanna go. We really don't wanna leave. This place was great. Like we had a great time. We were here for three days, two nights. Yeah. And it was, everything was great. I think something that kind of helped both of us was the season that we came in. Because last time we were at the coast was January. And, and it, was it was ridiculously hot. It was way too hot. Yeah. Whereas here, like I'm not sweating all the time. Yeah. But it's warm. And I can swim. Yeah, it's just the perfect weather. Yeah. But overall, our stay was really nice. This hotel is actually super cool. They have like free activities, like the kayak yeah. and the diving that we did was actually free. We didn't pay it was for that. Part of it. Uh, every day they they have uh, things to do for free. They mm -hmm. also have a snorkeling, I think, once in a while and things like that. Yeah. So that is that is actually a lot of value that you get for free. It is. The resort itself is a very nice resort, but mm -hmm. you need to keep in mind that the room that we have right now is way better than anything else on the resort. There, there's a big gap in prices as well, yeah. but this this is what makes the resort for me. Yeah, and there actually is one more room even more expensive, the rock yeah, the one that we over saw. Over the rock suite or something yeah. like that. It's their honeymoon suite, basically. It's a massive kind of loft on yeah. its own island. So I'd be curious to see what that's looks like but to be honest like I think I would prefer here oh yeah not only with this place you have a very nice inside you have a nice balcony direct access to the water from the outside but the privacy is a 10 out of 10 because you're literally mm -hmm. alone on this side of the island because all the other cottages are literally on the other side yeah. we gotta walk like what like almost four four minutes four or five minutes oh, yeah just to go to the main lodge so the privacy here is just unbelievable. It really yeah. feels like we're alone in this world. And another massive perk for me, sunset is directly in front of yes. us. Yes, so at night you're gonna have like a little glass of wine, sunset. sundowners, it's just amazing here. Yeah, so now into the things that you guys always have questions about, like the food and everything like that. Food's good. I mean, I wouldn't call it five-star yeah. dining, but it was still very good. There's yeah. no issues with that. As we said earlier, definitely recommend going with full board because the lunch prices are, I would say they're inflated. Pretty expensive. I mean, like it would cost in Canadian dollars, like close to like $90 just yeah. for lunch. So I mean, and if you want to get like an appetizer and everything. Isn't it $22 a person to add on for the full board, something like that? Something like, like it's that. It's expensive. really reasonable. So like the full board option is definitely worth it. So it's actually, also for your transfer, it's $60 for transfer um, from the airport. Yeah. And for two nights, the, the price at a full board is uh, 1,248 US dollars. Uh, but again, always send emails, call places yeah. because uh, we paid $1,000 US full board two night in the transfer. overwater suite with the transfer as well yeah. so we saved just over like three hundred dollar us um so yeah. yeah it's always worth calling especially in low season yeah and flights right now are super cheap as well yeah <laughs> so that combined it's we got a big discount on this entire package for yeah sure. <laughs> so that is it for our coastal trip in diani 
and we're gonna be back soon because it was really nice and we're gonna definitely come back in this time of the year because the, just oh the goodness, weather overall yes. is much better rainy season not really we had a little bit of rain when we woke up this morning but that was pretty much it so anyway yeah. don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next one so this is the best part. Oops. <laughs>so the Indian Ocean is uh, pretty Ow, nice. My hand. Well, move your hand. <laughs> You're on it. <laughs> move it. <laughs> okay. Because they're like all around our little uh, bungalow here, and Tracy and I are kind of wondering what they are. Bungalow. I don't know. They're all around our little uh, water bungalow here, and uh, they're all around our little uh, water villa here. So, just a question we have.